this is the last topic uh, defining the effect of all the factors on uh, concern, uh, on, on the rate of photosynthesis and today's topic is effect of concentration of carbon dioxide on the rate of photosynthesis for this we have to do our similar uh, experiment that is hydrilla bubbler experiment for that we need to take um, a freshwater hydrilla twig along with a glass slide, a bubbler and a thread dipped in a beaker filled with water. But in the second case, as you can see, I have taken sodium bicarbonate crystals or NaHCO3 crystals along with water. And in the third diagram, I have used a burner to heat up the whole apparatus to boil water. So uh, due to these three conditions, there will be three main differences which are very important and please note them down carefully. So in the first diagram, if you are aware of my uh, pre previous uh, video, then you will be able to answer this question that the, that the number of bubbles released in the first diagram is always higher because uh, carbon dioxide ha is having the highest capacity to get dissolved in water than in air. So, total number of bubbles in our first diagram are 16 because carbon dioxide dissolves to its, to its highest capacity in water and therefore increases the rate of photosynthesis, increasing the oxygen release. In the second part, if you see, there is or there are sodium bicarbonate crystals along with water. So, sodium bicarbonate crystals actually increase the uh, capacity of carbon dioxide to get dissolved in water to a maximum uh, percentage or it also increases the uh, concentration of carbon dioxide in water you can say in both the ways so using sodium bicarbonate crystals in water the uh, number of bubbles released here are 26 as you can see 26 bubbles are released in our second diagram and the uh, reaction is very very well uh, explaining this condition uh, that is H2O plus sodium bicarbonate will give us sodium hydroxide and carbonic acid that is H2CO3. Carbonic, carbonic acid will dissociate into water and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide which is released in water will definitely increase the concentration of uh, carbon dioxide in water because this carbon dioxide is derived from sodium bicarbonate which is reacting with water. So presence of sodium bicarbonate crystals in water will definitely increase the concentration of carbon dioxide or it will increase the carbon dioxide capacity to get dissolved in water and therefore number of bubbles are 26 in case of second diagram. In our, in our third diagram, if we heat up the whole apparatus using an external source that is um, a burner, then uh, due to boiling effect of water, carbon dioxide will escape radially because carbon dioxide is a gas and it won't uh, stay for a longer time in water in its dissolved state. Because we are heating the whole apparatus, carbon dioxide will escape very, very easily and therefore, no release of uh, bubbles because there are no uh, there is no oxygen uh, oxygen production so no bubbles in case of third diagram so there are th uh, three main uh, conclusions which are very important and uh, must be noted down very carefully so i hope the uh, concept of all the factors affecting the rate of photosynthesis is clear to you all and please uh, watch my next video to know what are what are the uh, photosynthetic apparatus and also how they are affecting the rate of photosynthesis just like the factors that have shown their effects on the rate of photosynthesis thank you